Hello everybody, my name is Coxic and welcome back to Astray. Last episode we had some fun. Good times. Good times. Now we're going into the cavern, where hopefully my uncle will be. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm underwater. This game is taking a turn for the cool. Mushrooms! My character is continuously walking to the side. What the hell? I don't even care if there's a bunch of zombie wizards down here. This is really cool. Whoa, I have no idea what I'm in for. I think... Shit. I'm not afraid anymore. I am slightly. Are they afraid of fire? Over here, loser. Come on, that's it. Come on, little buddy. Hey, he's a feisty one. Come on, little buddy. Over here. All the way. Over to the water. These things can't swim, can they? If, this, if they can swim, this is going to not end well. They can swim! Oh my god! Run! There are zombie wizards that can float! Ah! This is not going well. I did not account for swimming mechanics! Oh, so if you run far enough ahead of them, you can shake them. Yeah, pressure plate. What does it do? Run! Okay, we gotta let that get far ahead. Go! Okay, this is a puzzle. Oh, I think I figured it out. Eh. Puzzle solved. Let's go. A note. Thank you, God. 6th January 1909. My mind is playing tricks on me. Over the last day, I've been leaving down here in this dank pit. I've been seeing things that weren't there. Doorways where there were none. Strange, shadowy apparitions. I've never seen... I I even seen John and at the... I've even seen John at the, arrow na at the narrow corridor, knowing full well that he was in front of me as he made our way out. The darkness is suffocating. The cold confines of these stone corridors are not what I had expected of this adventure. I'm very much regretting my decision to come along. Oh, this is Bella. Bella has started to see apparitions while she was down here. I don't see what could possibly cause the apparitions while they're down here. Nothing could possibly cause that. She's clearly gone mad. Be very, very sneaky. We're like ninjas. Oh, I see a gear right there. I have to carry this by hand. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine! We are not fine! Ah! I got one! Was that the only one I needed? Go! Go! We got it! We got it. We got what we came for! We got what we came for! I don't know if there's gonna be one in here or not. Whoa! Okay. If that didn't shake him, I don't know what will. This game is getting really, really intense, guys. I can't even, like... Whoa, what secret did my uncle uncover? I scared the crap out of me. This is like some ancient type of civilization. It's dark, it's spooky, and it smells like a foot. This place sucks, alright? I get the feeling this bridge is going to collapse. London Bridge is falling. Isn't that song about people getting killed? Come here, box. You're with me. Oh, great, another puzzle. Okay, I could barely read hieroglyphics. How the hell do you expect me to read that? The creature deciphers description. Seemingly composed of void itself, while we know it's not, but its origins and methods have been made clear. Corruption. Weapons, wheels, masterful. The creature is something that cannot be fought. Perhaps there is still no hope. Perhaps there is still hope. The high priest believes that we can... That he can forge a prison. Oh, that's what that crystal for! The crystal is used to beat the creatures, guys. You can't fight these. Ugh. Up, up, and over. Um, no? I'm really confused. Okay, here's some rocks. Ta-da. Here you go. Nice! We are doing good at these puzzles, guys. Whoa! This place is way... I thought I heard something growl. This place is way bigger than I thought. Way bigger than it should be. And notes. 7th, January 1909. John and Rupert have gone, are growing paranoid. I fear the effects of this place are getting more, are getting into them more than myself. There's definitely something very strange going down on here. What we thought was a series of natural caverns actually appears to be a spiraling underground city. One who would expect to discover the magnitude would have us come with joy. All I feel is overwhelming sense of dread as my companions bicker over the crystal shard like madmen. The walls are lined with strange stone tablets littered with some alien symbols. Strangely, though, I've never seen this language before in my life. I can perfectly understand the text as if it were written in plain English. One tablet warned 
warned of an ancient being locked in within a prison that took the form of a large crystal. Could Rupert Shard be part of this crystal? If so, what happens if, when it's reunited with the rest of the crystals? Crap, this is all in my head. My mind play is playing tricks on me, but I'm sure I'd rather not find out. That crystal is a part of some being. Alright guys, I think we've gotten a hang of these little creatures by now. They're, now they're like dogs. Now we just simply go, go. Uh, sir? What do you got? We outsmarted him. Okay, here's a puzzle. Where does it start from? That's, okay, it starts here. There. I don't know what I did, but I got one to know, guys. Oh, great, an elevator. Maybe we can finally get the help. Oh, shit. Ah, great, we're dropped, we're blocked in. Down we go, into the abyss. What is down here? This is some sort of ancient civilization. Like what? The prison seems to be holding, though those clothes approximately horror the crystal. The creature from inside the crystal. It's clear that we, there are no markers and hastily fashioned replica and their work to not be inclusion, influence. Their physical form is restrained and it cannot cause damage, though it reminds those nearby. We are placing a construct of gu to guard the prison. A sentinel. And sentinel? I think I'm pronouncing it right. The Sentinels make sure will be the Skunk Tablets are also leaving them as an archive of these events and a warning to say to those future civilizations not to disturb the crystal. The Tablets have been warned as so as to blah 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 blah. All cover by creatures influence. Whoa guys, guys. The plot is a thickening. I hear one of them. Whoa guys, guys, guys. Back up, back up, back up. Please don't turn right, please don't turn right, please don't turn right, please don't turn right. No! Okay, you gotta go on this other scavenger hunt for another fucking gear. Gear! Here, Geary, Geary, Geary! Where are you? Here, Geary! What for art thou, gear? I found thee lying upon thy floor, like the little bitch thine are. And now we commence with our quest. Get in there, you slucks. Whoa, 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 whoa! Bella's Journal, 7th. 7th, January 1909. I'm sure of it now. The crystal shard in our possession is the fragment of the prison mentioned in the stone tablets. I came across another tablet today, which would be known as a sentinel. Recounts the events in which the creature was prevented from escaping its prison. The sentinel claims to have cultured. We can't allow the shark to be reunited with the rest of the crystal, but Rupert and John believe me to be insane. Neither of them will listen to reason. They themselves are consumed by madness and desire for the shard. It falls to me to take the shard away from them. Tonight I shall steal the shard from Rupert while he sleeps and make my way back to the surface where I can hide it. Sentinel's crystal transmission. A shard of the crystal prison is missing, but the creature grows stronger. I am detecting an anomaly. My system my systems are failing. The crystal must be Reformed immediately, danger is imminent, send assistance. Got, we found it! Guys, this is the beginning of the end right here.